Hey what's up guys this is Nayashek from blogdo.com and in this video we'll see how to create an Amazon affiliate website. So most of you must be aware that there are many people who are earning thousands of dollars per month using these kind of websites. So it's obviously a good idea to know how to create this kind of website, how to operate and how to, you know, import products and so on. And this website and this tutorial is going to be super easy because we'll see how to create different products. If you have watched my other e-commerce websites, like how to create an e-commerce website, then you will notice that we have to create a single product. We have to upload the image. We have to type in the description, you know, and all such thing. If there is a variation, for example, if there are three different type of product for example uh, we are selling a, set, a shirt and there are three different colors so then you have to create a variation but here a very great thing about this tutorial is that you don't have to do that you know you just have to import products from amazon and you don't have to do anything it will do everything for you it will import the description it will import the images it will import everything the variations the price and obviously you can edit everything according to you so you will be saving a ton of time and a ton of your money okay so that is very useful and as I said, you can make a lot of money if you really do it sincerely and if you're really serious about it. Okay, so let's see the demo website which we have created so that you can have an idea of what we are going to create in this particular video. So as you can see over here, this is our home page, a very simple, very elegant, a simple, professional and a very beautiful website. OK, so as you can see, we have a top header. We also have this uh, header and then we have our menu bar over here. And this is the color combination which I have selected. I like it. You can have a different color combination. OK, OK, I'll show you how to I'll show you a very important thing uh, actually, which is CSS, how you play with CSS that would help you in uh, I, I I would say every day that would help you in everyday life. OK, that is very important. For example, if you're using a free theme and that theme doesn't give you the uh, ability to change the color of your header or to change your font or so on, then how could you do that? So I'll show you that. So that is very, very useful. According to me, that has helped you help me a lot personally, and that would surely help you also. OK. Then here we have a slider. I have used slider revolution, which comes for free uh, with the theme which we will be using. OK, so that is very useful. Slider revolution has sold, I think, more than 100,000 copies. And uh, so that is a tremendous uh, an excellent plugin which we will be using for free. So that is awesome. And uh, this is also very important because, you know, you can use slider for different kind of website, whether you're creating a simple website, e-commerce website, or any kind of website. If you know how to create, uh, you know, sliders using this particular plugin, that would really help you. OK, now moving forward, we have different products over here. So first section, uh, actually, we have divided it into different sections. The first one is the featured product. So we have selected some products and we have, you know, made them as featured products so that we, you know, this becomes our featured products and we can sell them. Then we have latest shirts over here. All these things are imported from Amazon.in. You can uh, import from, uh, import it from any Amazon website. OK, so you, as you can see, the price is in the local uh, currency, which is Indian rupees. OK. Similarly, we have different sections with different products. I would suggest you guys to stick with a single niche. Don't try to uh, build another Amazon because it doesn't make any sense for anyone to come to your website to purchase the same product which is already available on Amazon. OK, so basically just follow and you uh, know focus on one single product or one single type of product that would really help you. Also try to, you know, do some research uh, that would really help you and also promote your product uh, uh, using the link, which I'll show you how to use the Amazon affiliate link later in this video. So you can also type in some, you know, uh, Facebook post. You can uh, promote about your website on Twitter and so on. You can create a blog about your website and, you know, uh, write uh, write a blog about a product and give that link uh, below you know which will have your affiliate uh, link and if you, someone purchases that product you'll get a, a small commission uh, so that would really help you okay so this was the home page let's see the category page so this is the category page this is how your category page would look like okay a very simple and excellent 
uh, th theme and excellent design over here and this is the single product which is very useful again as you can see over here we have the main uh, image we have some more images and we haven't uploaded as i said you earlier we don't have uh, we don't have to upload any image it is all automatically imported from amazon okay now we have our price over here title and so on a uh, short description is over here and a great feature if you have noticed on amazon is this frequently bought together so they give you some uh, more options so you can select deselect from your and the price will change accordingly okay so this option is very useful this is also from amazon and they have you know import this frequently bought together products also okay now here as you can see there is indian flag over here this is basically because i'll be selling only in india but if you plan and if you wish to sell in different uh, and in multiple countries you will have different flags over here and if it is available in india it will show this green tick and if it is not available in india it will show a red tick and if it is available in usa it will show a green tick and you know so on you get it what i'm trying to say now here as you can see there is a variation a color variation and a size variation okay so as we select the color and the size variation the price changes as you can see over here we can add to cart to this product we'll see that okay now here is the description as i said you earlier you don't have to type anything everything is imported from amazon obviously you can edit this uh, according to you here we have amazon customer review you can hide this section if you want we have additional information again imported from amazon we don't have to do anything again we have this frequently bought together tab which is very useful then we have some related products okay now let's add this product to our cart and let's check out and see what actually happens okay so uh, as you can see we have uh, successfully added this product on our cart let's open our cart so here we have this product in our cart one quantity you can increase or decrease the quantity from here okay you can apply any coupon if you want if you see my previous video you will get to know more about coupons and more in detail this video is uh, you know main mainly uh, concentrated on uh, amazon affiliate website so we'll be dealing more about that and less about e-commerce and woocommerce and so on okay for that you can uh, obviously watch other videos which i have created the e-commerce videos and so on okay then let's click on this proceed to checkout button so as you can see when we click on it it has redirected us to amazon and when anyone clicks on this continue button makes a payment purchases this product you'll get a great discount okay maybe you'll get um, uh, on clothing i guess you guess around you get around 10 percent discount so i think that is really helpful that would really help you okay and there are different uh commission rate for different products for electronics it is different for different products it is different so basically you get the idea of what we are going to create this is very helpful even if you don't plan to create even if you don't plan to build any this kind of website i would uh, uh, still suggest you to watch this video you could help someone else or you know in, in future if you you could really use this thing to earn some extra money okay so let's get started with this project if you have been following my videos you know that we to create any kind of website uh, whether it be an e-commerce website affiliate website social networking website a simple blog or a business website we need two basic things a hosting plan and a domain name okay so basically what is a domain name so as you can see over here it says woozone.nayashek.com so this is a domain name google.com is a domain name youtube.com is a domain name so these are basically a domain name quite simple everyone understands that okay now what is a web host okay or a hosting plan whatever you call it so basically if you see this video as you can see this beautiful girl this image is uh, actually saved somewhere in a computer not my computer but somewhere online in some hard disk somewhere running in the world 24 7 okay so basically this here is the logo here is the image all this code and something all these things so all these things are actually saved somewhere in some computer which is running 24 7 so that is basically a web host so we have to purchase both a domain name and a web host which is a compulsion you cannot proceed without that okay whether you create any kind of website these are the two basic things which you need okay so to do so and to get your domain name and your web host what you can do open a new tab 
type in blog2.com slash tmd okay once you do so you will be redirected to the tmd uh, hosting plan oh well, basically if you know uh, if you might obviously know that there are many different companies many many different companies uh, in the market for web host okay so it's if you're selecting one company any company web hosting company it should really make sense you know you should have a real uh, reason behind that so behind selecting that company whether is it pro profitable most importantly for us or not okay now let's scroll down here as you can see there are three different plans summer cloud rain cloud storm cloud so very important thing about this particular website and this particular plans, the cloud hosting plan is that they give a very strong CPU to us. Okay, as you can see, this is six core, six GB RAM. This is very important. It increases the speed of your website. You know, it loads your images faster. It loads your website faster. So that is very important. Okay, let's hide this message. Okay, so it says unlimited bandwidth. What does that mean? So you can, there can be unlimited uh, amount of data transfer in your website. For example, if you're creating a audio website or a video website where you can, you uh, know, provide the feature of download to the user or to the customer. So what happens, you know, they can download unlimited amount of uh, data from your website, unlimited amount of audios or videos from your website. Whereas most of the hosting providers give you a very limited bandwidth, okay? And the most amazing thing about this company is that it provides an SSD space. What is an SSD or a SSD space? Let's search for that on Google SSD versus HDD web hosting. So most of the companies out there will queue you HDD hosting and you might know that. Okay, so why do we need an SSD hosting? Okay, is it really important? What is the significance? Is there a significance difference or it is all the same? So when we see and when we search on Google, as you can see, I'm on Google, I just selected the first result. As you can see over here, there is a tremendous speed difference between both this thing between HDD hosting and SSD hosting. I know sometimes it is up to 20 times faster. So if you're purchasing an SSD uh, web hosting plan, your website would be 20 times faster, which would indirectly or directly help you in gaining Google ranking. Google ranks those uh, website higher, which loads faster. You might know that. Okay. So basically you can do your own research and I am very much sure that you'll uh, get to this conclusion. Okay, so we have SSD space and that to unlimited SSD space. There are few companies uh, in the market that do provide SSD space, but they are providing limited SSD space. And here we are getting unlimited SSD space, which is great. Okay, then the next thing is unlimited website hosting. So basically now today you're creating this Amazon affiliate website. Tomorrow you might uh, need to create an e-commerce website or a blog or a simple business website. So what do you have, what you can do? You don't have to purchase a web host again because this hosting plan gives us unlimited web hosting. Uh, so then we can host all these different website on the same plan. So we don't have to purchase a web host for different do for different domains or different websites. This is also great. We also get a free domain, okay, which is awesome. It would go, uh, our domain name uh, usually cost around 10 to 15 bucks. So we are saving that amount. We get premium support, cPanel, optimum cash, wildcard, SSL. If you see the demo website, which I have created, there is an SSL certificate over here. This is very, very important, especially when you're creating an e-commerce website, you just cannot neglect that, okay? So we are getting an SSL and that to a wildcard SSL. Wildcard SSL basically means you can have more than one SSL certificates. For example, uh, if I'm using this plan, I have my primary domain name is neyashek.com, but I have many different subdomains and different domains uh, registered on the same web host. And I'm getting SSL certificate for many, many different do domain names, okay? And if I had to do that in market, for example, if I had to purchase an SSL certificate, it would cost you around 30 to $40 extra. 
So basically you are saving a lot of money over here. You get three times more performance as compared to these two plans. Okay. So there are many different uh, options. You you get spam experts or, uh, option and so on. So you can make your own decision. I would recommend you to go with rain cloud or storm cloud. Don't go with summer cloud because you know, here you can host only one website. So if you want to create another website, you'll again have to purchase uh, a web host okay so that is not a good idea i would recommend you to go with rain cloud or storm cloud according to your budget okay so i am using this storm cloud over here so i'll sign up for storm cloud so just click on this sign up button okay guys once you do so you will be redirect redirected to this particular page now here is where you have to select your domain name what what is the domain name that you want for free i would recommend you to do some research on how to you know select your domain name uh, there are many different good articles which i have read uh, you can search on google you will get it easily uh, so first do some research on what kind of domain name you should get then get your free domain name so let's type in anything and let's proceed further for example nayashik1 because i already own nayashik.com so i cannot put nayashik.com now i am putting a domain name nayashik1.com once you put in your free domain name over here just click on proceed okay once you do so you will be redirected to this particular page which is the which will ask you for a few more things this is the order form page the first section contains the contact information so basically you have to you know just give them your basic contact information like your first name last name email address phone number and so on your country state uh, it's all up to you you know give it according to your personal details then we have the payment information you have credit card debit card paypal so you can pay with anything uh, under credit card you can select either credit card or your debit card okay if you want to make payment through paypal you can uh, select paypal from here okay then here you have to select your data center location if you click on this you'll see multiple options over here and what you have to do you have to select the one which says nearest to you so for me singapore sh uh, shows that it is nearest to me so i'll select that that is more recommend or uh, recommended uh, that would really help you now we have to select the billing cycle uh, by default 12 month is selected and i also recommend 12 month cycle that that really makes our job much easier you know we know every month uh, every year this is the time which we have to renew our website so that really makes our job easier don't go with lower plans uh, that is not recommended go with at least 12 months you can go with 24 36 months that is fine but go with at least 12 months that would really make your job much easier domain privacy is not really recommended so you can just turn it off okay just to save some more money now here it is the promo code option here you can type in Naya YT which stands for Naya YouTube and click on this apply button what this does is as you can see you can you can read this over here this says this promo code gives you 7% of this purchase so you're getting a 7% discount or, or total on your total amount and by uh, if you might know that 7% is the highest discount that TMD offers okay so that is awesome you can use my coupon code to get some extra discount from here now just tick mark over here which says i agree to the tmd hosting service terms of services and click on checkout once you click on that checkout button you will receive an email from tmd hosting this email is very very important guys because it has some really important information like your ftp address your website url that is not so important but name servers and so on your server ip uh, your password your username everything is over here so this is very very important you can just forward this mail to different email address if you have multiple email addresses just to secure this information you can also mark this uh, mail as star so that would really help you you can also take a printout if you want okay it's, it's all up to you just uh take the decision what what you feel is safer for you okay now what we have to do you'll see a control panel link over here just open that link in a new tab by the way that link is nothing but your domain name slash c panel for example my domain name is nayashik.com so for me it is nayashik.com slash c panel for you it would be your domain name dot com slash c panel obviously now from here 
again you can copy your username and password from that mail and just click on this login button okay guys so this is the c panel the tmd hosting c panel now what we have to do just scroll down okay and under the softaculous or app installer section you'll see the first option is wordpress just click on that because now we have to install wordpress on our website because we have registered a domain name now it's time to install wordpress on that domain name okay guys now click on this install now button okay now from here select your domain name on which you want to install wordpress for you it would be only one domain name because this is the only domain name if you're starting it for the first time i have multiple domain names so i'll have to select one and here in directory you will see wp is already written now what we have to do just delete that wp and make sure this uh, box is empty there's nothing over here okay now the next option is site setting which has site name and site description you can change it from here also and we can change this thing later on so it's not a big deal you can leave this thing for now and here is your uh, username and password option you can just uh, no, just delete this admin and select a good username and password okay don't uh, keep uh, just leave this add to admin and pass that would increase the chances of your website uh, getting hacked okay so select any username and password of your choice okay and after that you will see over here it says admin email address okay so delete this email address and type in your own email address which you have access to okay which you know, the email address which you can log in which you can compose email and so on because you know many all the important information about this website will now be sent on this particular email address okay after you do so just click on this install button okay so wordpress is getting installed on your website it will it will take few seconds don't worry okay as you can see guys it took around three four five seconds maybe okay now you have two different links over here one is your website link and second is your administrative url which is nothing but your dashboard url okay so let's open your administrative url in a new tab and if you also notice guys uh, we have this ssl certificate already there for our website which is awesome i really like that and we are already logged in okay so you don't have to do any basic changes over there now we have installed wordpress on our website now the now let's first see how our website looks like so let's open this in a new tab so how are you which is my blog and you'll see this visit site open this link in a new tab so as you can see guys this is how our website looks like at present okay but we want a website which would look something like this okay so for now for that we need a uh, something called theme to beautify our website and we also need a plugin a woozone plugin that is name of the plugin woozone okay so that plugin will enable us to import products from amazon and that is very very useful plugin okay so i have decided one thing uh, just to save some uh, money from your side okay you will save some money okay so what do you have to do just open a new tab again and type in blog2.com slash kingdom okay it's simple blog2.com slash kingdom and press enter obviously the links are also given in the video description below obviously okay so this link would redirect you to this particular page here you have amazon associate bundle pack so why did i select this one because it has woozone which is the number one plugin for amazon affiliate website it also has a theme over here it is a bundle pack so basically you have a theme a plugin both the things which we need okay so basically if by purchasing this you're saving around 66 bucks which is i think good you know you're saving some money on your website you also get many important uh, plugins free with this particular package for example visual composer which is the most sold product most sold item on code canyon or theme forest okay which is uh, basically the same thing one sells theme the other sells plugin so that is the most sell, uh, sold plugin till date and you also get slider revolution which is by far the best slider uh, slide uh, plugin to create slides okay so we get many different things from this now what you have to do just click on this buy now button and purchase this bundle okay 
so i have already done that so i won't be doing that okay once you do so come back to your website okay now here at the left hand side you will see two options appearances and plugins okay so how are appearances and click on this themes because now we'll be installing our theme okay now click on this add new button at the top okay now click on this upload button choose file okay choose the file or uh, your uh, uh, your theme file okay so basically this would look something like this kingdom amazon affiliate with theme i am using the 3.3.2 version which is the latest version okay now we have two different options documentation and theme go to themes now here also we have two different options unzipped and zipped now we have to open this zipped one okay and here the first one is kingdom now select that and click on open and now click on install now so basically our theme is getting installed it would take around one minute or two uh, you can see the progress at the uh, you know, left corner the bottom left corner if you're using chrome okay so by the time our theme is getting installed you guys can do a few things you can click on that subscribe button the red subscribe button so that would really and also click on that bell icon now we have new bell icon that would keep you notified about my new videos and i think that would really help you because i create some really useful websites okay so, uh, so i think that is a good reason to subscribe to my channel you can also give a thumbs up to this video if you like it if you don't like it make sure you give a comment in the video se uh, section below so that you know i know what was the you know problem which you didn't like about this website okay if you have any queries you can also leave a comment in the comment section below and if you want to ask something if you have some suggestions for example the amazon affiliate website was requested by a uh, few of my subscribers so that's why i created this web i'm creating this particular video so if you guys also have some requests you can also post that in the video section below i also created a multi-vendor e-commerce website i have created many different especially on e-commerce website i have created many videos so you can also watch those on my channel okay so a theme is taking some time now what i'll do i won't bore you guys with all these lectures now i'll pause this video and once the theme is installed i'll continue oh yes so our theme has successfully been installed now what you have to do just click on this activate button to activate this theme on our website oh yes so we have successfully uh, activated the theme also now you get a message which says uh, this theme recommends the following plugins now what you have to do just click on this button which says or this link which says begin installing plugins okay now click uh, tick mark over here it would select all the plugins from here and from bulk action select install and click on apply so basically it will install all the plugins which are recommended by this theme okay so as you can see all the plugins are getting installed all these plugins are very very important ones okay so just install everything and now go to this uh, click on this link which says return to required plugin installer now we have installed all the plugins now it's time to activate all of them so again tick mark over here it will select all the plugins and from bulk I action click on activate and click on apply okay so now it's activating all the plugins which we have just installed okay so all the plugins are installed now what you have to do we have to install the main plugin the woozone plugin that would help us you know import products from amazon so here is the option which says plugin again on the left hand side just hover plugins and click on this add new button because now we have to add a new plugin the woozone plugin which is just downloaded from theme forest if you downloaded okay now click on this upload plugin button and click on choose file now from here okay as let's again see now here you'll see this option which says woozone amazon affiliate plugin just open that go to plugin and here is the plugin the zip file okay select this and click on open click on install now this would take a uh, very little time so don't worry about that okay so as you can see our theme has been uh, installed successfully now we'll get the option to activate the theme obviously 
Okay, here is the option. Now just click on this activate plugin button. Okay, guys, so we have successfully installed and activated our plugin. Okay, as you can see over here, this is the Woozone plugin, the latest version. Now what you have to do, the first thing I would recommend is to run this, uh, you know, you'll get this option. Welcome to WooCommerce, you're almost ready to start selling. Okay, so just click on this, run this setup wizard. Or if you don't get op this that option, then what you can do, is you can see the link over here. Okay, so after your domain name slash WP dash admin, you can type this slash admin dot PHP question mark page is equal to WC dash setup. Okay, so take this uh, if you don't get that option. Okay, then you can type in this uh, link over here in the uh, URL bar and you'll get this option. Okay, now click on this let's go button. Okay, so basically now this is the first option, the page setup option. WooCommerce will uh, automatically create four different page, very important pages, shop page, cart page, checkout page, and my account page for you. So just click on this continue button. Okay, now here you have to select your store location. Okay, so basically you have to select the state. For example, I am in Maharashtra state, which is in India, okay. So I'll select this one. Now from here, you have to select the currency. So obviously I'm selecting INR, which is Indian rupee. Okay, as you can see over here. Now position of the currency left, everything is fine over here. Now don't tick mark this thing. You won't be charging sales tax obviously because everything is done through Amazon. Okay, if you do this, if you mess up something like this, your prices will increase and that is not a good idea, okay. Click on continue. Okay, now you can select your weight unit, dimension unit, whatever you like, gram, kilogram, pounds, you know, centimeter, meter, whatever you like, and just click on continue. Okay, you don't have to do any of these because the user won't be making per payment on our website. They will be making payment on Amazon. Okay, now click on continue. Oh yeah, so we have successfully set up everything. Now don't create your first product. We don't need to create any product. At the bottom, you'll see this link. Return to WordPress dashboard. Just click on that. Okay guys, we are getting one error. Current memory limit is 40 MB. Okay, now we have to increase memory limit. Okay, so if you open this link, it would help you. Okay. Okay, so this is the code which we have to paste in our uh, website. Okay, uh, there is a file, WordPress config file, I guess. Okay, you have to paste this code over there. Okay, so just copy this code from here. And there are different ways of doing that. Uh, okay, what we can do, we can use, we can do that through uh, FileZilla, which I mostly recommend. Okay. If you don't know what this thing is, how to operate this thing, you can watch there are many different videos on YouTube, which will help you on how to set up your, you know, account, FTP account and how to use FileZilla, which is very, very easy. You can easily do that. Okay. Now here we have to search for the WordPress config file. First go to the website or the folder. So we are under kingdom.nayashik.com. Uh, so here is the kingdom.nayashik.com open this and under this you will see what wp-config.php now what you can do okay just select this file drag it on your desktop okay as you can see over here desktop is selected so that file will come to your desktop and it has come to our desktop it says transfer finished okay now open this file you can open this file through your notepad or something i have installed sublime text which is a text editor free text editor which is very very good so you can also install that to make some changes you can you know use the notepad which is uh, by default present in your uh, in your computer okay so just open this file 
okay as you can see this is how your file would look like now over here you can actually paste it anywhere uh, now what i'll do i'll select this place and just paste that code okay define whatever it is wordpress limit just paste that code and press ctrl s to save the file and instead of 96 just type in 128 simple as that okay again save this file go to filezilla refresh from here again take this file over here overwrite go back to your website refresh and everything should be fine now okay guys as you can see that error is gone so that is how you do it okay it says to install the theme we have already installed a theme and basically we have installed the same thing which these guys recommend these guys also recommend the kingdom theme so we have installed that theme already now let's come back to our website and refresh and see how our website looks like right now oh yes so as you can see this is how our website looks like at present now there are many things uh, which i'll need to change over here okay first let's minimize this fine if you see over here our header is quite big according to me the header is very big okay, you can see our from here our website starts from here okay but here the website starts from here which is just you know the header is taking a lot of space over here now what you can do you can go to customize here you'll get this customize option now through this option you'll get this customize option whatever theme you're using okay so basically this op this option gives you the ability to make changes uh, in the design of your website okay so here when we come over here drag down and the last option is additional css open that and if you see there there will be a link in the video description below uh, go to that link and download the css file over there okay so th that would look something like this and just copy all this code from here just select everything copy it and paste everything over here in under additional css and if you uh, just see when i paste this code there will be some changes taking place over here okay as you can see this thing has shifted up the font and everything has changed you know but we'll see how to change the font you don't have to do through this you can uh, you can just copy or paste this code to change this thing uh, the size of this uh, header okay i have just decreased the size of the header because i thought it was taking a lot of space okay now click on save and publish now if you see over here the color combination over here is totally different and it looks super awesome okay but here the color combination is not that good okay so at the top as you can see the color is fine you know dark gray color here also but our social links have become gray and we cannot see them and here we have those color as white color so what you can do and uh, besides this social link this small pencil button just click on that okay here go to text and here you'll have different color options okay so select the white color from here now as you can see it has become white click on save and publish also is if you see the header color is actually light silver let's see how, what color is this so there is a very easy way to check what color exactly this is just uh, bring your cursor over here right click and click on inspect okay and at the right side over here you'll get that color okay here as you can see this is the color you also get this option over here which shows the color so we can uh, know what color this is okay so just copy this code from here uh, which with which starts for, with hash so it's hash eceff1 whatever it is come over here now select this section over here now because we have to change the color of this section so select this pencil go to background select any color as you can see the color changes okay so if you want this color you can have this color or if you want a custom color like we see over here what you can do click on over here select color and paste in your code okay so as you can see now we have the color which i have used in my website okay so basically we have seen how to do that now let's also see the color over here if you saw 
and now if you notice the color of the search bar is also different so again just right click over here click on inspect and as you can see over here the color code comes so again copy this color code come over here click on this pencil besides the search bar and background color just paste in this code or you can select any color from here as you can see when I select different color the color of this search bar changes it's all up to you okay I'm selecting this color also the color of this thing is different okay so this bar is different the color of this bar is slightly uh, is not slightly lighter so what I'll do I'll inspect this thing also and this is the color code over here just copy this come back over here now select this pencil background color paste in that color and here you have it okay so this is how you do it it is very easy but if you see the color of this uh, icon is white so let's make that white over here also okay now go to text and select white color from here now as you can see it has become white okay so after doing all these changes click on save and publish okay now just click on this red cross button to cancel this okay now click on this back button okay now we have to select primary and secondary color if you see this red color is our primary color and when we hover this it is some weird purple color I don't like these colors you know here I have different primary and secondary color for example this is my primary color and this color over here as you can see is my secondary color this color okay so I want those colors to be there on my website okay so what I'll do here let's see where is that option first of all I think it is under themes option okay here we have the font changing we'll see how to change all this font and so on first let's change the color okay here it is colors option so click on colors okay you have here we have this primary color and secondary color let's see what is this color so again click on this inspect button now here as you can see here is the color code now just copy this code from here go over here you can select any color from here according to your choice I want this color so I'll paste in that and as you can see the changes are taking place over here okay let's also change the secondary color let's see what that color is what is the color code for that when you hover over this here is this here is the secondary color just click on this inspect button and let's see where is that color here it is as you can see just copy this code and as you can see the primary color has cha uh, changed and when we hover here we get this weird purple color which we don't want I want a beautiful secondary color okay so let's paste that code over here okay changes are taking place over here and also if you see the background color the menu background color is set to green so basically this is the uh, menu background color as you can see this is the background color for our menu so we also have to change this color okay so again come back to your website okay let the changes take place now let's hover over this now as you can see both the beautiful color are over here now let's also change the background color menu background color that is same as our primary color so what I'll do I'll copy the same color from here go to menu background color and paste in that color okay so that we don't have a menu so we cannot see it right now but if you paste it that co code you will have that color background color for menu okay click on save and publish now if you want to change this fonts from here okay as you can see this font by default it is some Rajdhani font I don't know what font that is okay but if you use my CSS code uh, you don't have to change your font you know you have this beautiful font but if you don't like this font also you can change it from here go back go to theme fonts over here okay so it was theme fonts I thought it was theme options or something okay so, so first one is main font okay so this is basically the main font uh, as you can see this is not Rajdhani this is sans serif okay now you can select this you can select any different font from here you will see the changes taking place over here okay let's see as you can see the uh, fonts have changed okay so you can select any font from here according to your choice whatever you like it 
okay this is the heading font you can change this font also from here okay main menu font here is the main menu font okay you can select that also you can change the size of this font okay uh, you can change the weight of the font if you select uh, lesser weight it will become thinner if you select more weight it will become bolder okay so basically that is what it is okay so you you know what i'm talking about you know you can change the font you can change the font size font weight and so on after doing all these changes just click on this save and publish and i think we are done with these basic things now just click on this x button to exit this thing option this option customize option okay so this is how our website looks at present okay now what we have to do before proceeding further let's first create this slider okay so this is very easy and very useful also okay so again come back to your dashboard scroll down and you'll see something called slider revolution here it is just click on that now we'll be creating new slider for our website okay guys now click on this new slider button over here to create a new slider okay so the images which i have used over here there are three images i have given that on my website as i said you earlier you will find a link in the video description below on that link you will find all the images the css code whatever i have used on this particular video or this particular website okay so let's see what all option we have first is the content source so make sure default slider is selected now you have to give it any title or short code you can give it anything for example let's put slider 1 as you can see here and here also just put in slider 1 okay now here you have different options standard slider hero slider carousel slider you know make this to standard slider now this is a very important step the fourth one at present by default auto is selected we have to select full width okay as you can see in the demo website this slider is a full width slider okay so we have to select full width and we have some dimensions over here what i have made is 700 pixels over here okay so for my demo website it is 1240 by 700 pixels you can have the default settings you can change the size if you want a bigger slider you can increase the size from 700 to 800 maybe if you want a smaller slider uh, in terms of height you can decrease the height from here okay now rest everything should be fine okay and also as you can see we have these arrows over here you know that helps uh, us uh, to go to different slider and we also have these navigation dots at the bottom so if you want this there is an option over here navigation okay enable arrows arrows just make this yes then you have bullets enable bullets make them yes okay fine click on save changes it will save all the settings okay now we have to create these slides you know we have three different slides and as you can see there are some animation you know under this so let's start creating this one this is the first slide which one this is the first slide i guess this one so let's create this slide first okay guys so this is how it should look like at present now as you can see there is an image in the background and as i said you earlier i have given this image in the link video in the video description below you'll find a link you'll find all the images and css code over there okay so what you have to do the first option under main background you'll see just tick mark this option main background image go to media library under upload image click on select files and let's see where that file is okay okay so many folders over here okay here it is so this is the image select that click on open click on insert okay as you can see we have this beautiful image over here and there are this lines over here so make sure everything you put are under these two lines green lines okay these two green lines now let's see what we have next so as you can see we have a title which says the best offers and then it says check out our latest products so let's do that so to enter anything whether text to insert any image to insert a button whatever it is here there is an option which says add layer so when you hover that you'll see different options now what we have to do we have to add a text so select the first one text or html 
now let's select so as you can see here it says the best and then it says offers so let's type the best over here so just type in the best okay now as you can see here is your text just click on ok now we have to increase the size of the text obviously so let's make it 70 okay okay 70 looks fine so this was font size now another one over here is font height make this also 70 okay then we have font weight okay so you can have if you select 800 it will become very bold if you select 600 it will become medium okay accordingly you can select that option okay you can also select uh, change the font from your oh, at present it is set to open sans by default you can change the font from your let's see how to change the font let's set to georgia as you can see the font has changed okay there are many different fonts you can select any font you like okay so let's select something like uh, let's select this one oh, not that good i like the default one okay so let's select that open sans the default one but you have different you know fonts you can select any one of those the color is white which is fine if you want to change the color here is the option to change the color okay now let's drag this thing over here as you can see it is at the bottom now the next thing is offers okay now let's click on this add layer again select the text and it is offers okay so just type in offers over here fine click on this ok button drag this offers over here okay also increase the size for this one let's make it to 60 pixels maybe font weight and font height 60 pixels font weight is 400 fine or maybe let's make it 600 okay and let's make the upper one 800 okay select the upper one select 800 this looks fine now we want same uh, with for both the fonts so what we can do here is the option okay so what you can do you can increase the letter spacing so at present it is set to 0 let's make it 5 and see the changes okay so as you can see the spacing between the letters have increased we want more spacing so let's set this to 8 maybe okay let's set this to 10 and see we want the same uh, size for both the fonts and now this looks much better okay so this says the best offers whatever it says okay the next option is this line okay as you can see this colorful line so that is basically an image i have given that image also so what you can do hover this and select image upload files select files here is the image the line click on open now click on insert where is that here it is just drag this thing down make this thing up drag this thing up okay you get all this color options so that you can you know align this carefully now the next and the last thing is check out our latest products so let's type that again add layer text type in anything you want so let's type in check out our latest products fine click on ok drag this thing over here at the bottom fine okay so basically we have the image we have all the text over this is basically a very very simple slider i have used a uh, slider revolution in my different videos if you want more sophisticated uh, more better slider then you can go and visit those sites see those videos and you know you can just uh, see the slider section of that video because you know below every video uh, there is a description and you'll see all the timings you know slider uh, creating slider starts from this time till this time so you can watch that portion of that video okay now let's add some animation to this particular things okay so to do so what you can do just select the first one and go to animation here it is okay 
now at by default it is fading as you can see it is fading in you can see the animation now we have to change this okay so basically the idea is the one which is at the top it comes from uh, bottom and the one which is at the bottom comes from top okay so let's see okay so let's select this one which one let's select a uh, slide mask from bottom okay when you select that animation now you'll see that animation as you can see the one which is at the top is coming from bottom okay now select the bottom uh, one and for this we'll make slide mask from top okay so as you can see it is coming from top now select this line now i want this line to come from left hand side so let's select something like uh, smooth mask from left let's see what how it looks like okay this looks fine now select this uh, uh, last line go to animations and you can select anything obviously let's select this one randoms rotate and sail okay so it looks fine okay you can have any animation you want after you're done just click on save settings over here save slide okay so basically you have created the first slide similarly you can create different slides basically all the slides are same okay so it's doesn't make any sense making the same slides again and again if you want to create a new slide just click on over here and again do the same settings okay so i won't be doing that just to save some uh, time of both mine and yours okay so basically we have created a slider now what we have to do we have to add this slider on our home page but we haven't created a home page so let's do that come back to your dashboard at the top you'll see something called pages where is that here it is at the left hand side hover pages and click on add new so basically now we'll be adding a home page so let's do that okay here the first option is enter title here let's put in the title as home page because this is our home page you can put in any title obviously okay so we have created a page home page now let's add this slider okay so at the bottom you'll see this page post slider option and select slider at present no slider is selected select that and select the slider which you created slider one and select no from here show title okay we don't want to show the title now click on publish okay open this page in a new tab to lead to see how this page looks like yes so as you can see this is how our page looks like at present but if you see over here it says kingdom.com slash blah 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 slash home page we should not see home page uh, and let's click on this uh, button this icon logo and as you can see this is our home page and this is not our home page okay so what you have to do we have to set this page we have which we have created as our home page so to do so there are different ways of doing the easiest one is through your dashboard okay so come back to your dashboard and at the left hand side you will see this setting option and under setting option you will see the reading option okay so click on reading okay the first option is the front page displays at present by default it is set to your latest post now select the a uh, static page you know and from front page select the home page which you created this is the page which we have created the home page click on save changes now come back to your website refresh and now we should see the home page over here okay okay as you can see guys when we refreshed we can see the home page uh, over here so this looks fine now okay guys now let's start doing the most important thing which is to create these products which is to see how to import products from amazon and so on okay so come back to your dashboard okay at the bottom you will see this who's on plugin okay just click on that okay so first it will ask you for a purchase code unless and until you give this purchase code you won't be able to continue okay that does make sense so what you will do you have to get the purchase code you will see that purchase code in the theme file or if you don't find that don't worry just message the uh, a uh, theme uh, creator from whom you purchase uh, they will give you the purchase code easily okay so i'll put in my purchase code over here so that i can activate it so just paste in your purchase code and click on activate now 
okay so it has refreshed and it has successfully activated my plugin so when you activate your plugin you will get this setup wizard okay so make sure you purchase the plugin you just don't you know download it from any different source there are many different sources to download but that is very very dangerous that they can you know write some code on your website and that would really destroy your website it would uh, spam your website it can add different ads add pop-ups on your website so you know whenever you click anywhere in your website a new ad will pop up which is really bizarre that is terrible okay so i would recommend you guys to purchase it from theme forest the most safest thing okay now just click on this get started button okay so now it will ask you some questions what kind of site is this it is a blog online store personal website or other it is an online store so select online store click on next okay what is the state of the website it is, is it a fresh install or already have some content it is a fresh install so select fresh install and click on next what is the purpose of you uh, you want to use woozone okay why do you want to use uh, I already have a website. I want to earn some easy money from affiliation. I am creating a web new website with sole purpose of having a store featuring Amazon product. I have already have a web store and more. whatever the reason is for us. This is the second reason we are creating a new website with the sole purpose of having a store featuring Amazon products. Okay, so select the second one. Click on next. Okay, now here make sure everything from here is selected again. Click on next okay from here price setup make sure amazon or other seller are selected also import product from merchant make sure amazon and other seller are selected okay import as publish okay if you import as publish all the product which you import will publish will be published if you import them as draft they will be imported as draft and you will have to publish each product individually so i'll select the publish option this one is says import product with zero price uh, product which says zero price on amazon do you want to import them so we haven't selected this we haven't tick marked this i don't think there is any product i don't know okay so import attributes make sure this is tick mark very very important okay now click on next okay number of images make sure it is set to yes uh, set to all because we want to import all the images variations make sure it is set to all if it is not you can just drag this thing to the extreme right side and it will say yes over here okay so it will import all the variations okay if you want to speed on import you can make this thing uh tick this thing now click on next okay now checkout message you can change this message from here if you want i don't recommend that but obviously you can do so if you want redirect in i want to redirect in one second so i'll uh, decrease the timing from three second to one second over here okay buy button contact custom text so you know basically our buy button says buy on amazon so if you want uh, to have a different uh, uh, button text for example if you want to have just buy now you can type in buy now over here okay so now next option is buy button opens in so basically when someone oh, clicks on that buy now button should it open on the same tab or a new tab you can select that okay and now click on next okay now the following fields are required in order now you we need an access id key secret access key and your affiliate id this is very very important now what you have to do open a new tab and go to affiliate to dash i think some okay affiliate dash program dot amazon dot in or dot com whatever you're using okay it is affiliate dash program dot amazon dot in and if you have not yet signed up for the uh, affiliate program for amazon you can do so which is very very easy i have already done that so i'll click on login over here okay click on login again now let's see what all things are required over here okay so access key as uh, so secret key and affiliate id okay so first i'll need my affiliate id so at the top over here as you can see this is the affiliate id 
of yours so just click on uh, copy this code from your and paste in over your under your country link so basically this i am uh, uh, si i have signed up with india amazon which is amazon.in you can sign up for different amazon for example i can also sign up with amazon.com and amazon. whatever amazon different amazon in different countries okay you can sign in sign up for one country sign up for uh, different countries so i have signed up only for india amazon so i have my id over here so just paste in your id under your country flag now we need this thing okay uh access key id and secret access key where will we find this here you'll see different option uh here which says tool how our tools and go to product advertising api now here you have different options just go to manage credentials i am already logged in if you if you don't if you if you're not signed in you can create a different account okay basically when you create a you know affiliate account you also have this account uh, inbuilt okay but if you want to use a different email address you can do so i don't know why would you do that but you can do so just click on sign in okay now here what you have to do go click on this uh, uh, continue to security uh, security credentials now here it is access key and secret access key this is what we want so click on over here okay so i have already i have a access key and secret whatever it is but what i'll do i'll delete this just to show you guys how to get a new one okay so i have deleted this now click on this button which says create new access key okay and now click on this link which which says show access key now here you have your access key id access uh, secret access whatever it is now clear so just copy the first one which is the access key id go to your page paste it over here okay now say copy the second one secret key again come back over here paste it over here now when we scroll down we have we see this option main affiliate id so my main affiliate id if you have different affiliate id this is uh, this applies over there so i'll select india my country a request type make sure it is auto detect import location i'll import only from amazon.in so i'll select only india now before uh, click on, uh, clicking on this finish button click on this button check amazon aws keys okay so it will check your keys over here it is checking your keys okay so it says fine everything is okay now you can click on this uh, finish button okay so we have uh, done this uh, setup totally for woozone setup now click on this uh, close button so basically most of our work is done believe it or not but most of our work is done so once you activate your theme by entering your purchase code you'll see some something like this you know now what we have to do we have to click on something called where is it where is it okay at the okay here it is uh, it says insane import mode okay just click on that insane import mode whatever it is okay now from here we have to import the product okay so there are many different options one is through keyword okay before that we'll have to create a few categories so let's do that okay uh just how are you uh, at the left hand side you'll see these products how are products and you'll see these categories let's open these categories in a new tab so that you don't have to you know come back over here again and again and let's create these four categories jeans shirts shoes and sunglasses let's create the first one shirts just type in the name of the category and click on add new category and it's done you have created a category it's that easy click uh just create the next one jeans add new category now we have sunglasses click on add new category and the last one is shoes okay so just click on add new category so we have four different categories why did we create different categories because we don't want amazon's category see amazon has tons and tons of categories so we don't want to import that category or if you want you can import that category it's all up to you i don't want to do that i want my own limited categories okay so that would uh, because i want very few products okay so that's why i'm doing this 
now again come back to this insane mode pro, uh, import whatever it is now there, there are two basic uh, options on how you can import the product one is through keyword and the second one is through categories okay so i basically prefer the categories one the second one is the categories one now first we'll import shirts okay so obviously shirts comes under apparel category so i'll select apparel okay now i get more options now let's select the second option so what kind of uh, thing you want so i want category everything that comes under apparel category now we get more options now let's select this so we want women men girls boys baby so i want men now we get some more options now select this one now we have shirts jeans sunglasses shorts whatever it is we want shirts so select shirts from here again few more options casual or formal i want casual search shirts i'm sorry okay now we can select some uh, specific brand specific manufacturer and so on you can select your maximum price minimum price okay now here i want to import from first two pages of amazon so i'm selecting first two pages okay so after doing all these things just click on launch search oh okay, yes so it is complete and as you can see we get different options over here there are different products okay so you can tick mark if you don't want uh, any product from here you can just untick that product okay and rest if whatever you want you can just tick mark that product so i want all these products now let's scroll down and here we have different options number of images we want all the images to be imported variants we want all the variants to be imported and here is the category option just select this if you want to use categories from amazon make this use category from amazon i want my own category shirts so i'll select this one i'll just untick this uh, spin on import import attributes i will tick this thing do it now yes i want to do it now okay so once you do everything just click on over here which says import products so basically now it has started importing all our products it will take a minute or two maybe or maybe less than that okay so let's see we are importing first two pages okay first two pages of men casual shirts okay so as you can see it took 44 seconds to import now just click on this close box and all our products has been imported now let's see whether it has really been imported or not so for that we'll create a menu okay because we don't uh, still have our menu it is without menu which looks really bad so again come back to your website and uh, here at the left hand side you'll see something called appearances however that you'll see menus okay click on menus now we'll create our menu okay okay so we haven't created any menu so just type in any menu name for example mostly i type in main menu so just type in main menu click on create menu okay now whatever you want from here for so i want all the categories so if you select this category you get you don't get any option because these are post categories we want product categories okay so at the top you'll see this option which says screen options select that you have this product category so here tick mark that minimize this now we should see that here it is product categories now go to view all we want all these categories on our page on our menu bar so click on add to menu and we also want this thing home page okay the home one so what you can do we can just add the home page also select this home page click on add to menu okay we want our home page at the top obviously and we want to change this name from home page to just home so just type in home okay have, once everything is done make sure to tick mark this which says main navigation and click on save menu fine now go back to your website refresh and let's see whether the changes have taken place or not so guys as you can see the changes have taken place so this looks really awesome we just imported shirt so let's click on shirt and see whether we have any product over here or not 
Oh yes, so this is awesome. Without creating any product, we have so many different products. Okay, we just imported these products. This is awesome. This is really amazing. Now you can just do whatever you want to do. You can just click on select options. You can click on add to cart. You can check out through this website and everything. Okay, so this is how easy it is. Okay, now let's import some few categories, more categories. So it is uh, under apparel category, men, shirts. So instead of shirts, now let's select jeans. Okay. Now we don't want any uh, particular brand. If you want a, any particular brand, you can uh, search, search for that particular brand. If you want any particular specific manufacturer, you can select that manufacturer. Maximum minimum price, obviously. Again, I want the first two pages. So select the first two pages, click on launch search. We have all the jeans over here. Okay, I want all of them. Okay, so again coming back over here. Now I'll select the jeans uh, category from here. Rest everything will be fine. Click on import products. Now all the products will automatically be imported. And not only that, they all will be sent to and attached to my jeans category. Okay, so as you can see when I clicked on shirts category, all the products were there. Okay, done. Close box. Come back to your website click on jeans and we should see a few products over here also okay guys as you can see this is awesome i thought i think i just selected the first page that's why it's showing search that's why it's showing so many uh, so less products you can select anything over here okay now let's select shoes okay it should show us empty that's why because we haven't imported shoes so let's do that okay but before shoes let's import sunglasses because it is under the same category apparel okay let's see where where it is sunglasses here it is sunglasses and spectacle frames whatever it is first two pages yeah we want the first two pages click on launch search okay i want all of them okay and i want them in sunglasses category okay click on import products so again, uh, it is importing around 20 products and as you can see the progress over here, five products has been imported and you know the images uh, around 128 images are being imported and 29 variations are getting imported. So this is really crazy, you know, you don't have to do anything, everything is done by this particular plugin and that too at such a great speed. Okay, so we have done that. Now let's import the last category which is shoes which will come under shoes category so instead of apparels we'll select shoes from here and from here we'll select men's shoes and I'm not any anti-feminist or so I'm just selecting men's so don't get me wrong guys okay where is it we don't have casual oh here it is okay and we want sneakers so let's search for sneakers okay Again, you can have your brand, whatever you want. Click on launch search. I know most of you guys would be imagining, man, this is so easy. Exactly, guys, this is really easy. If you know how uh, everything, it is really easy. You can just go ahead and start doing whatever I'm showing you over here, okay? And here are the different, you know, products over here. Again, now instead of sunglasses, we'll have shoes rest everything should be fine click on import product to start importing and this is more crazy we are importing 342 images 212 variations around 20 products so basically maybe shoes as a more you know maybe a lot of variations i think it is also showing you some speed or something 67 16 17 products per minute okay i think that is what it stands for ppm Okay, so it is showing 34 seconds have gone, more 20 seconds, 25 seconds left. Okay, okay, I was just saying the opposite. Okay, so everything is getting installed, everything is getting imported, let's wait. If you guys have any uh, doubt, any queries, you can obviously leave a comment in the comment section below. I'll try to help you guys, okay. Click on this close button come back to this website refresh and we should see some shoes over here hopefully okay guys so we can see some products over here which means we are successful 
I would I would recommend using the same theme. This is uh, the theme created by the same guys who created Boozone. So that is that really helps. And if you use some other theme, you might run up into some error or something. So that would be not that good. Okay, so we have our products over here. Now let's come back to our home page and let's see how it looks like. Okay, as you can see guys, this is how our home page looks like. Now let's add these things, these sections over here. Okay, the featured product, latest shirt, jeans and so on. So before adding these sections, we first have to set some products as featured products which is very easy again come back to your website the dashboard uh, click on this products over here okay so beside every product you'll see this star mark okay so when, when you click on this star mark it will make this product as feature product so let's select few products from here one two three four five six seven okay Let's, we have selected seven different products let it reload and after that we should see star marked on seven products okay so you can see one two three four five six seven maybe six okay whatever it is okay so we have marked this is how you make any product a feature product really easy i know that okay now come back to your website okay now we have to add this section so here so what you can do here at the top you'll get this option edit page now open this link in a new tab okay let's cut this thing also cut this thing okay right, guys as i said you earlier we get visual composer free with this particular package which is really awesome because if we didn't had this we, we would have to you know add some short codes which are not that great i uh, know today no one creates a website using short code i guess uh, so just click on this backend editor and you'll see how easy it is to do all these things now click on this add element and search for title okay and uh, okay not title maybe let's see what we have to search let's see okay heading okay so we have to select this kingdom heading if you don't find it just search over your heading and you'll see this kingdom heading over here just select that kingdom heading and let's see here it is featured product the heading is featured products okay so your heading goes over here type in your heading over here click on save changes okay now we have all the products which come under featured okay so let's add that again click on this plus button to add new element and search for featured here it is featured products just select this now how many products do you want to show 12 products 8 products so let's say we want to show 8 products how many columns as you can see here it is 1 2 3 4 columns so we want 4 columns okay now click on save changes okay now what I'll do instead of creating everything again and again you can just copy this thing and change something from here okay so that is also a way but I won't do that I'll just delete this so we have done this thing okay now let's add this section which says latest shirts okay again come back to this page click on this plus button search for heading okay now select kingdom headline okay type in the heading you want latest shirt for us again click on this plus button and now search for products okay okay now no products i think we'll have to search for categories okay so there are two different options over here first one is product category second one is product categories okay so we have to select the first one product category because we want to uh, show different products from same category if you select product categories it would just show you different categories which we have created okay so select product category not categories okay now here again how many per pages you want per product per page how many columns same thing and select the category so we want the shirt category okay click on save now what you can do we can copy this thing so just click on this clone this row so we don't have to create everything we just have to make some you know minor changes for example changing the title the next one is latest jeans so let's change this title from latest shirt to latest jeans and also change the product category type okay from instead of shirt let's make this jeans 
click on save changes again clone this section again uh, edit the title and now let's make it latest shoes okay fine now let's also change the category to shoes instead of jeans or whatever you have again clone this or copy this thing again change the title to latest sunglasses save changes again change the category to sunglasses okay click on save changes click on update and come back to your website wherever okay this is the one and refresh and we should see all the changes over here hopefully okay let's scroll down and see whether the changes have taken place or not so as you can see guys the first one is the featured products we can see featured products the second one is latest shirts latest jeans latest shoes latest sunglasses everything is working fine okay now we don't want anything in the footer over here so what i'll do i'll delete all the thing over here i don't want that if you want you can have it i don't want that i simply don't want that i don't like it i want to make my website very simple and only important things should be over here okay so i don't want the uh, footer over here so what you will do come back to your website hover appearances and you'll see widgets over here click on widgets okay now here you'll see footer content now one by one just delete everything okay just delete all the categories over here whatever you see just now again come back to your website refresh and we should be you know we should get rid of that uh, footer category let's scroll down and as you can see we don't have any footer over here but here as you can see it says copyright 2017 kingdom created by aa theme i don't want this i want my name over here or maybe you don't want anything over here okay so let's see how to do that okay so for that again click on this customize button at the top okay now from here select this option which says footer options okay now let's scroll down first of all okay and for here you have different uh, options over here paypal url uh, amazon url so you can change your url from here okay you have different options paypal amazon whatever it is okay and if you don't want to show this thing in the future you can just select this to no okay and if you don't want to link you want uh, maybe you want this logos but you don't want to link it to anywhere so what you can do put a hash everywhere okay under all the uh urls just put a hash so what will it, do? it will do it will have this logo so here which looks good uh, which looks great and it won't redirect you anywhere it will just make you on your own website okay now here is the footer text the copyright text which we have to change now let's first get this thing or website reloaded okay so it is just loading okay fine so here as you can see i don't want kingdom over here i want my site name for example my store name is blog dude okay so i'll just type in blog to do over here instead of kingdom and as you can see changes are taking place over here okay as you can see guys now i have blog to do over here and i don't want this created by aa theme i want created by nayar shake and when i when and when anyone clicks on nayar shake they should be redirected to my youtube account or my youtube page and i don't want this powered by woocommerce okay so what i'll do first delete this line which is powered by woocommerce then what i'll do i'll change created by a theme so here it, it is a themes i'll just select this a8 team actually it is i thought it is a8 themes and i'll type in my name nayar shake so it would be created by nayar shake okay and i'll also change this link so everything that comes under this this is the link so let's delete this and you can put in any link so i'm just putting a hash over here after doing all these changes just click on save and publish okay it is still loading okay guys as you can see all the changes have taken place successfully now you can just click on this x button to just exit from this uh, customizer okay guys so basically i think we have created everything let's see whether everything works fine or not 
okay so let's add some product uh, in our uh, cart and let's do a checkout okay so let's add this product okay as you can see guys all the title the amount everything is imported from amazon okay and we have our category over here we have some options over here size now let's select i don't know my size i think it's seven okay so and also we have this description okay all these options combo option customer review additional information whatever it is and then we have this add to cart so let's add this product to our cart okay so it says it has been successfully added to your cart and as you can see we can see one item on our cart so let's do a checkout okay so click on uh, on click on your cart okay here is the product 595 rupees okay now let's click on this proceed to checkout button and we should be redirected to amazon okay it is redirecting us to amazon and also if you see over here at the top in the url here is my uh, id the affiliate id which says which means that this thing is working and when anyone makes any payment from your purchases buys anything from your i'll get a great commission from that so you can earn a good amount of money through running an amazon affiliate website okay guys so this is it for this tutorial i hope you guys have enjoyed this tutorial this is not the end i may be making a few more videos uh, in future if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section below or uh, wherein i'll i may if you if you guys are interested only then i'll make those videos uh, showing you how you can really different strategies that you can apply to you know become successful in this particular business because in the, there are many different strategies for example someone creates a blog and they promote their product uh, on their blog and i'll show you everything about that if you guys are interested let me know in the comment section below for but now this is it for this tutorial i hope you guys have liked it make sure to subscribe to my channel because i really make some useful stuff you know for example as i said you multi-vendor affiliate website everything you need it and if you guys need anything else make sure to comment again in the comment section below and let me know if that is possible i'll try my best to make a video on that and by the way i'm also making a video on how to convert your website whatever kind of website wordpress website you have into an android app and i'll link that video maybe in the video description below if you don't find it that video will already be there on my channel so you can check out there also okay thanks a lot for watching guys see you again